Guys Bartending. I'm Epic Guy Randy, and today I'm going to show you how to make a gimlet. Now, gimlets and vodka gimlets, the, the obvious option, uh, I drank a lot of in college. It was kind of the thing. We had that in cigars and grumpy old bastard clubs, and it was uh, just one of those things. But I drank a lot of these. Uh, the only thing I hate is gin really makes you sweat the next day, and it's got this little bit of an odor, but as long as you're not doing it every day all the time, I'm sure it'll go unnoticed. Well, anyway, you want to start with a glass, fill it up. You can use crushed ice with this, uh, and I actually kind of don't like crushed ice. Uh, it tends to water the drink down a lot faster and keeps you from uh, uh, you know, being able to use a straw right and other things. I, I tend to just like heavy rocks, not like regular refrigerator stuff, but, but good manufactured ice that works great in drinks. Now, you need an ounce and a half of your favorite uh, gin. Then we need an ounce of Rose's lime juice. Now, I've talked several times about the difference between lime juice, real lime juice, fresh squeezed, etc. This is the other stuff. This is actually sweetened uh, from concentrate, prepared. It's actually become kind of like a liqueur now that you know the drinks state Rose's lime juice. Uh, I'm sure there's several other off-brands that, that are just as good at the same stuff, but you want this, not something that looks like this, or something that looks whiter. This this has a blue uh, bottle, so it looks a little different, but that, that is mostly fresh squeezed uh, uh, lime juice. Then we need, what did I say, an ounce of lime juice. Stirred. You want to top that off with a couple of a couple of wine wedges just in it there, and then a swizzle stick. And there you have a gimlet. Thanks for watching, always drink responsibly, and remember, if you tell a woman she looks beautiful, she'll usually overlook the rest of your life. See you next time.